It's strictly truck power for this battle of the bluegrass. Namely, two-wheel drive big blocks tearing across 300 feet of topsoil. These are followed by the hunks of hauling semi-trucks. Straight off the highway, these leviathans line up on the loam. What is pulling? It's the only motorsport measured in inches. Pulling involves tractors and trucks hitched to a special sled with a moving weight box. The goal is to haul the sled as far as possible before the shifting weight pulls it to a stop. The longest pull wins. Welcome motorsports fans to the Danville Boy County Fairgrounds in Danville, Kentucky for the Urson Camps Bluegrass Nationals presented by World Products. Hello again, everyone. I'm Ted Jones. Joining me in the booth is Battle of the Bluegrass CEO Tom McConnell. And tonight we feature something besides farm equipment in pulling competition. As we get ready to take a look at the super stock two-wheel drives, I want to tell you about one of the other classes we got out here tonight. The semis are going to be here. These guys have to be street legal, limited to one turbocharger, unless they came out of the factory with two turbochargers. Some of these guys in the semi category make it right at that 15 to 1600 horsepower. And of course, Ted, the weight, the biggest in the industry, 22,000 pounds is what they weigh in. Super stock two wheel drives, though, will be up first. Check it out. Defending class champion Nancy Wilson and her husband Kevin, but our pit reporter Kathy Fisher has got news about black gold. In the super stock two wheel drive truck category, you know there's all different types of entries, but I found one here that has a very interesting name, black gold, and I got to find out why. We drill all wells in Kentucky, and you know that's one name, and we also make moonshine, it's called black gold. Wait, 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 moonshine? Here's some of this moonshine if uh, you'd like to have some of it. No, wait a minute. No, no, wait, not, right, not right at the moment. What in the world is it doing in your truck? Well, we've pulled ever since back in the 70s and 80s, and, uh, you know, it's kind of rough pulling trucks, so you got to have something kind of calm you down a little bit. Okay. Well, Travis, uh, thanks for letting us know. That was a very interesting story. Black gold. You just never know what that may be. And he carries it in his truck. Meanwhile, Nancy Wilson, you saw her with her husband, Kevin. She's country out of her sales. Kentucky will be our first puller, Tom. Uh, you never know what you're going to find at a house loop battle of the bluegrass event. All right, Nancy Wilson, defending points champion on the house loop series. She is screaming that Ford. She's country. Oh, man, 600 cubic inches gets her 291.77. Now, remember, on the first pull, you have the option of accepting the pull or rejecting it. You think you can do better now that you felt the track out. Well, guess what? Nancy has decided she's going to drop it. So we'll go with what's our now first puller, the Cold Steel out of Taylorsville, Kentucky. This is David Stevens. This is actually a pro stock truck, 485 cubic inch. Notice the weights are inside, trying to run with the big boys. Stevens, a 30 year veteran, gonna come up short, 271 even. Kind of makes Nancy Wilson's 291 look pretty good. Here's another look at Stevens' pull. Kathy Fisher's on top end. What happened at the end? Uh, just a lot smaller motor truck. We run with another organization, just come to play tonight. Well, what did you think of playing tonight? Oh, I had a good time. Enjoyable Saturday night. Yeah, if you can't have fun, why do it? Jim Harden right now doing some last minute corrections on the Moonshine Mini. Well, Jim Harden, the winningest super stock two wheel drive truck puller of all time. He's kind of the big daddy of this class. Coming off the line, beautiful, 72 Chevrolet, 600 cubic inches, 1,400 horsepower. Listen to that baby scream, Ted. Oh, pulling hard over there to the left, so he has to shut it down at 291 feet. Now that will be the lead, but remember, Nancy Wilson passed on a 291.77. Jim ran 291.68, and he'll take the lead with that. Kathy Fisher is there. We thought it was going to be a lot better than what it is, but it ended up pretty loose on this upper end. So that, that's what hurt. She really turned you right there at the end. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we tried to turn them pretty hard. 
Well, you know, sometimes trying to go straight wants to turn you. Hey, you take what you can take. That's, right. That's all you can do. Here comes a black truck, as a matter of fact. Mike Chester calls it three shades of black. Tough truck here, to say the least. Chesser, a second generation puller, grew up around this stuff. He loves it. He's a super stalker, even though he's got the weights on the inside. Big motor, screaming it. Oh, yeah, can he beat Jim Harden? Up in the air, taking it a little rough, but not going to get it done. 271 and change. No way, Jose. No, ended up way short right there. With that, we'll take a look at our standings. Moonshine Minis on top with 291. Will that hold? We'll let you know after the break. The Urs and Cam's Bluegrass Nationals are being brought to you by Hal's Lubricator, professional grade performance since 1920. PBM, the professional engine builder's one-stop performance source. And by World Products, leading racers choose World Products, American-made blocks and heads. From the Danville Boyle County Fairgrounds, we continue on with our coverage of the Superstock two-wheel drives. You saw Nancy Wilson. Here's her husband, Kevin Wilson. He calls it Dog Gone. Kevin Wilson was a defending dirt car champ for many years, and now a top-running Superstock two-wheel drive, a husband and wife team. All they know is one thing. It's all about Fords. Did he take over the lead? No. No. His arch nemesis with the Chevrolet, Jim Harden, still holds to the lead. Next up will be Brian Stevens out of Taylorsville, Kentucky. He calls this the shimmy himmy. Look at that thing. Now, Ted, that is a cool ride. The motor sits in the stock location right next to the driver. He says it gets warm in there, Ted. And look at it. The Dodge lifted him up in the air. 268 won't get it done, but man, that was fun. Let's look at it on the house lube instant replay again. Right there, it starts to go up. It's like he's on a roller coaster. With you being up front, how different is that than where the, the guys are usually with the, the motor in front of them and everything else? It's got to be a completely different setup. Yeah, you can see the whole track. The motor's sitting right here beside of me. Yeah, I can, I can uh, feel the heat coming out. Folks yeah. at home can't, but trust me, I feel the heat coming out of there. So how did you feel about that run? It was pretty good, just a little low on power for, for, you know, for this class. I'm 485 and the rest of them 600 cubic inch. From Shelbyville, Kentucky, this is the Murphy's Law of Jason Patton. Well, Jason is driving a truck that was formerly owned and campaigned by Barry Rocky, who back in 1994 was a Battle of the Bluegrass champion in the Superstock category. Just got the truck back out, and he's doing quite good for a dated machine. 269 feet. Let's look at it one more time. Oh, wow, jumping up and down right there on the front. He had problems hooking up and getting going. He's a new driver, Ted, so he's still trying to learn how to hook all this horsepower in. It's a whole lot more difficult than what it looks. Scrappy is the name of this Ford that belongs to Steve Cobb out of Lancaster, Kentucky, and the Cobb Motorsports entry. This guy has been in the winner's circle two times on the Howes Lube Series, way overdue for another win. That is a beautiful Ford, Ted. The Ford fans on their feet. Can he take it over? Shuts down right there. 276 will not get it done. And we'll remind you, Nancy Wilson turned down a 291 pull. Well, here comes our guy with the moonshine on board, the black gold of Travis Coomer. Well, Travis, a little bit under class, 485 cubic inch, but he's here to have some fun and let everybody know that black gold moonshine's coming soon to a store near you. Look at that. Right up at the end, that sled hits him, shuts him down, Ted. 267 feet, nobody getting close to Nancy Wilson's pull. Look at Travis's Chevrolet one more time. Wheels high in the air right there. Wait a minute, let me look in here. All right, hand it over. 
Where's the bottle? Where's it? I ain't got it no more. Uh -huh. I am do it all. I hear you. All right. Hey, how, how did that pass feel? Well, though, pass felt real good. You know, we just uh, 470 cubic inch, them other guys 600, and uh, they 14 four from the center axle to the furthest weight point, and they got a big advantage on us. But I'm, I'm hearing that you're thinking about changing that. Well, we, we've got another truck started. Uh, we don't know what we're going to do, but we'll do something. I don't think Travis is going to tell anybody what he's going to do is what it comes down to, Ted. Let's watch James Harden right now. He calls it the cheating situation. Well, his father, Jim, is in the lead right now. Can the son beat the father? James laying down a good run with the cheating situation. Two years ago, he was the Howl's Lube champion, but he's going to come up short here tonight in Danville. But the team with his father in the lead holds on. Let's take a look at those standings right now as we get ready to go to break with Jim Harden in the lead. Travis Coomer down there in the black coat. Race up ninth place. We'll be back with more. Watching the House Lubricator Battle of the Bluegrass coming to you from the Danville Boyle County Fairgrounds. Now, turning down the first pull earlier was Nancy Wilson, and she was the recipient of a special award. With that, here's Tom McConnell. This week, the PBM Best Appearing Award is a unique truck. We have our defending House Lube champion, Nancy Wilson, with a whole new look. Nancy, this truck, it looks somewhat familiar. What am I looking at here? You're looking at a lot of the old wild turkey. The old wild turkey express, Donnie Page, probably the winningest super stock two-wheel drive guy behind Jim Harden, that guy? That guy. The chassis came from Donnie, and then when we went to go to the metal body, my husband called Donnie, and he asked him if he still had the old body, which we knew he did, and he said there was one stipulation that had to go back on my truck. You were buying it to go on your husband's truck, but Donnie said, no, it's going on yours. Donnie said, definitely Nancy's. It ran awesome, straight as could be. I it was wonderful. Felt good. Well, let's see how it looks and feels as we go back into the super stock two-wheel drive action next. Well, Nancy gets to go again. Remember, she turned down that first pull, so she has the right to try again. But the first pull she turned down would be the leader right now if she'd have taken it. Oh, no doubt about it. It's got to make her sick. Well, you see Jim Harden, the leader, his son James, they're watching on. This gal has beat them before, like most of last year. They're watching her, though. Can she beat the Chevrolet? The Ford fans, the ladies, cheering her on. Ha, it is going to be Chevrolet tonight. A lot less, 277 feet. Our congratulations to our winner. Congratulations, man. You've been down here since you made your pass. Thank you. Appreciate it. 291.68. And with Nancy throwing away the pass right to start with, which was a 291.71, are you kind of surprised she did that? Should have kept it. <laughs> now I got it. Take a look at how that truck was rocking back and forth as she came off the line right there, going only 277 feet. Kathy Fisher caught up with her to say, hey, what's that? Why throw out the first run? It didn't hook like I thought it could. Bounced on me. But, you know, that's the way it goes. Well, the thing is, when you are the defending champion, you, is, this isn't like the first time you've come out here and done this. So you should know you're going by your gut. Yeah, and my gut said drop it. I mean, as soon as I landed, I looked over at my husband and I said no. But gut was wrong this time. Indeed it was. He could have won. But here's the way they ended up with Jim Harden on top. Nancy's husband, Kevin, came in second place. Saved a little bit of money for the family. Now we're going to reappropriate the weights and change it all around. You know why? We got Pro Street Semis coming up. First puller will be Dennis Thomas. Well, Dennis is out of Tolesboro, Kentucky. He has got a Freightliner. And, Ted, this is the truck that he actually hauled in uh, another truck to pull. So it's a hot stock truck, uses it on the road every day, and when he's not hauling freight, he's hooking it to a sled, rolling down the way. I mean, you can look at even the back of it. That guy hauls freight, 244.71. 
Well, that'll set the mark to beat right now. Remember, they changed the weight in the sled. John Stauffer will be up next out of Mason, Ohio. Oh, check this out, an old trans star. I love it. Ted, I had a little toy like this that I played with for years. I still got it. And remember, weight is your friend, Tom, so he's strapped on a 2,000-pound DOT concrete barrier and still only went 230 feet. Now, Tom McConnell filed this report earlier. Well, since 1920, Howe's Lubricator has been providing lubricating products to the trucking industry, but now they're solving another need. Right now, there's a driver shortage all across the country, and one of the things that we were able to do was put together a, it's called the Howe's Truckers of Tomorrow Scholarship Program. What we did was we paired up with Sage Truck School. They're a national accredited school across the country. We're going to give $1,000 to 25 different schools, so that's 25 awarded scholarship recipients throughout the year. They're going to be able to go to that school, get their license, get their degree, go out on the road, be able to start earning a living driving truck. 95 years we've been in business. We put professional grade products out there that our customers can rely on. Being a small family company, we pride ourselves in answering the phone when people call in. So we're dedicated our lives to the truckers out there and we want them to know we have their back all the time. Well, good enough. They got their back with the motor and now with the drivers. We'll take a break for semis next. The Urs and Cam's Bluegrass Nationals are being brought to you by Howe's Lubricator, professional grade performance since 1920. Black Gold Moonshine, illegal for 30 years, now it's legal. And by Urs and Cam's, 50 years of performance camshaft and valve train technology. Back in Danville, Kentucky for the Urs and Cam's Bluegrass Nationals, Kathy Fisher filed this report earlier today. You just never know what you may see at one of these tractor pulling events. And when you see the big semis come up that go down the track, something like this is underneath the hood. And Derek, you guys bring these out so people can see just how monstrous they really are. Yeah, these are the engines that are in the heavy duty semi trucks that you're riding by on the side of the interstate. So this is what powers those trucks. And you have this set up so you can actually fire them up. Yeah, we can start this when we get a computer run diagnostics and stuff on it. And this is an electronic one and this one's an old mechanical engine that we can start. The red one's a Cummins ISX engine and then the black one's an M14 Cummins. Like I said, you'll just never know what you may see when you come to a bluegrass pulling event. All right, thank you very much, Kathy Fisher. We continue on the semi trucks. It's all about the money, says Charles Robertson. Charles Robertson defending Hal's Loop Battle of the Bluegrass Champ. Whoa, rocking that tandem axle. This is a new ride. Haven't seen one do that, I don't know, ever. But hey, he's still going with the Ted. As I said, he's got a brand new ride. So let's see what Charles can do. He takes over the lead, 296.67. Let's check that out on the Howes Loop replay here. See if we can see that bounce and jerk. Wow! Now that's 22,000 pounds. Ouch! Well, that's a new, new clutch in here, and I don't know how to handle it yet. I'm trying to get a, a grip on it. So it's kind of like a drag racer. Got to get the clutch, like, seated in yes. a little bit. Yes, absolutely. Well, once you got going, nice slow pull down the track, 297, well ahead of everybody else. Yeah, it should have been 350, but that takeoff, I had to get off of it. Well, Charles always thinking he's got more left, and you know what, Ted? Most of the time, he does. You may have noticed the majoring, the hitch height right there. That's very important. Why, Tom? Oh, yeah. The higher the hitch height, the better it's going to pull, which means a guy might cheat if you don't measure the hitch height. This is Steve Lutmer coming to you out of Lebanon, Ohio. He was your winner here last year, trying to beat Charles Robertson. International fans cheering him on, but he goes down, won't make a repeat from last year. So with that, we'll go to James Erq from Cincinnati, Ohio. He calls it Stray Cat Blues. I don't know where they come up with some of these names, but it's probably got something to do with the fact he's a trucker, and I got a feeling his handle might be Stray Cat. All right, this is a new ride, 
And I'll tell you what, the stray cat not running the way he wants, just inching it down the way, might be the wrong gear selection, but this Kenworth, now the thing that's interesting, Ted, look at him, inching along with that truck. Gonna run out of power, but hey, did the best he could, 225 and change, that's all she wrote. Next up will be Daryl Fannin from Tollsboro, Kentucky. He has a Freightliner, nice looking rig. Well, his friend, Dennis Thomas, came in with him today. They're kind of on a team. Let's see what the Tollsboro boys can do. He has got a lot of ground speed. Can the Freightliner beat Charles Robertson? Oh, not gonna get it done. Nobody has gotten close to Charles Robertson who figured out exactly how much clutch to use, where to line up and everything like that. There you see it. Folks, they call that hook it up. Well, another one of the fanning trucking companies here. This one's the Peterbilt. Scott Highfield doing the driving. Oh, this Peterbilt is awesome, Ted. Street truck, he is hooking right now with Charles Robertson eyeing him on. Will Charles pick up a win? And Charles is going to do it. The Big Pete shuts down. Kathy Fisher is with our winner. Tonight, it did stick for you. That was my, it was my night here, because I've been here four years in a row. First year, I broke. Second year, I won. Last year, I broke a hitch and got DQ'd. Guess what? Tonight's my night. Yes, it is, and here's the way they finished up, folks, with Charles Robertson. Our congratulations to the It's All About the Money. Well, he took home first place money. And our Liquid 2 Best Engineer Award goes, of course, to Charles Robertson. Our Liquid 2 Best Run of the Day, Jim Harden and the Moonshine Mini, well deserved. And that'll bring to a close this week's coverage of the Howl's Lube Battle of the Bluegrass from Danville, Kentucky. Now be sure and join us next week. We'll be moving all the action to Owensboro, Kentucky. Until then, I'm Ted Jones for Tom McConnell and our pit reporter, Kathy Fisher. Have fun at the fair. So long, everyone.